Hello and welcome back with History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we are standing in front of the Chateau de, of Berzy le Sec. Um, can't really visit much of it, I think, but uh, we'll certainly give you everything we can see. Do uh, you have anything? When was it built? Well, we don't know for sure, but the first mention of the Lords of Berzy le Sec was in the 12th century. And then we know that in the second half of the 15th century, Pierre de Louvain added reinforcements to the castle. That's Pierre from Leuven, which is from where, you're, where we're from. Well, that's his name. I don't know if he's exact, actually ah. from Leuven. <laughs> Whatever the case, let's check it out. The town of berzy le sec is located on a hill dominating the river Crise. The castle is located next to an old Romanesque church, which we're exploring first. The name of the town first pops up in the 9th century under the Latin Berziacus in Comitatu Suessonico, meaning Berziacus in the county of Suessonico, which is current day Soissons. Berziacus is derived from the Germanic name Berico. The Saint Quentin Church of Berzile Sec is a late Romanesque church built in the 12th century. It was gravely damaged during World War I and has subsequently been restored. It was by chance that during these restoration works, wall paintings illustrating scenes from the Old Testament and dating to the 12th and 13th century were discovered. Perfectly oriented towards the east and without the transept, the plan of the building is organized around a nave with three ceilinged vessels, a choir vaulted with a ribbed crossing, and topped by a bell tower and a semicircular chevet, topped by a ribbed semi-dome. The facade of the church has harmonious and proportionate arrangements, perfectly conforming to the architectural standards of the time. Our sources mention a fortified site as early as the Carolingian period, though a first mention of the Lord of Berzile Sec dates to the 12th century. The castle would have been no more than a seigneurial tower. In the late 12th, early 13th century, two of the Lords of Berzi, having distinguished themselves in the Albigensian Crusade where they died, were buried as martyrs in the Abbey of Longpont. The earlier fortifications were strengthened and enlarged in the 14th and 15th centuries during the Hundred Years' War. The square keep was surrounded by a quadrangular enclosure and wall walk, reinforced with buttresses bearing small turrets called echoguettes in French. There were no flanking towers which might indicate relatively modest financial means. Despite this, extra care was taken when designing the entrance. It was strengthened with large corbelled watchtowers with a moat, machicolations, a drawbridge and portcullis. The gatehouse tower was also topped with a residential upper room at the rear side. The structure became a true gatehouse keep, competing with the older original tower. In 1445, the castle of Berzy was acquired by Pierre de Louvain, which is the same Pierre de Louvain from last week's video. Be sure to check out our trip to the castle of Nel for more information on him. It's quite juicy. The older tower fell into ruin around this time. A dwelling was later built inside the enclosure between this old tower and the entrance. During the Italian wars between 1494 and 1559, the castle was altered to a more Renaissance style. The small chapel was added to the curtain wall and entrance, overlooking the moat. The dwelling inside the enclosure was enlarged, with among others a vaulted kitchen. In 1554, the castle passed into the hands of the Destré family. They would hold the Viscounty of Berzy up until the mid-18th century. 
In the 19th century, the castle was acquired by a number of farmers who would use the castle as farm buildings. The destruction of the castle is largely attested to damages sustained during World War I. The local community now owns the site and dedicates the summer months to restoration and fortification of the castle. There was a short uh, view around the Chateau de Percy le Sec. Uh, yeah, it was okay. I think uh, it has nice details like the corbeling, uh, machiculation on top. Um, but uh, yeah, no information about. Well, there was some history. Yeah, there was some history. Uh, we'd love some just information about the details. Um, but uh, yeah, they're restoring it, uh, which is nice. Hopefully. It will be accessible in the future. Um, yeah. The church was also nice. Yeah, I really loved uh, that we could see the medieval uh, wall paintings that were there. Uh, because mostly when we see churches, we see white walls. But you have to remember, they were all painted in the Middle Ages and showed different pictures of the Bible. So that's nice to, uh, to see some remnants of that. Yeah. yeah. All that's left now is uh, the subjective arbitrary castle score. I'm going to go five and a half. Nice details, but not able to access it really. Uh, so five and a half for you. Yeah, I'll second that. Also five and a half. Yeah, same explanation as well. Same explanation. <laughs> we are synced. <laughs> uh, we're the History Hikers. Thank you for watching. Uh, give us the stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you. Bye. Until next time.